it motivated me more. You got your lawn to take care of, you know, pride in your house. I bought lawnmowers, motorcycle, a girlfriend got a new car. Not that those things are real important, but it just comes with that ownership of a house. Everything just kind of fell into place. Moving into a brand new house, there's no ghosts. The only ghosts that are gonna be there are the ghosts you put in there. We were living in an older than me trailer. It was really small on a busy street. Traffic all the time. Mold and mildew and wind leaks. A lot of theft. No yard. You hear the neighbors right next door. It was a nightmare. What do you hear right now? Nothing. It's just peace and quiet. It's just, it's really nice. We can make it sound <coughs> as easy and as flowery and as pretty as we want but it's not. This program and, you, and the people that are able to accomplish this program to me are like the cream of the crop. It was really hard, but eventually it did get easier. It was doable. Now here we are and nine roofs are done. <coughs> Each one of you is gonna have a high point and a low point in the build. The good news is that normally it will not match up with somebody else's. So when you hit a low point, they're gonna pull you through. And then you're gonna hit a high point and you're gonna have the opportunity to pull them through. That's why each of you don't build a home by yourself. That's why we come together. It's nice to have that type of support and just, it really motivates you to be here and come every day. And we were able to really come to trust each other. You're trusting them to build a good house for you because you're not just working on your own house, you're working on all these together. That that really helps out now because I just, I, I feel like I know who I'm around. All of our kids now are at one or the other of our houses during the week. Tuesday night, you can come here and find Sarah's, Erica's, Lenny's kids all here. Me and Amanda. The, my other next door neighbor, Sarah, Stop. and then Casey do a dinner group together. They bring you dinner and you take them dinner. These big plants right here are broccoli, and we made broccoli cheese soup last night and served it to our neighbors. I've never grown a garden before, so really it's been the most rewarding thing. We've always been in an apartment or we live with my parents. We never had a yard for a garden. It's cool to eat what you grow. In my old house, Pretty lazy, watch TV a lot. And now here that I have so much friends, I can play 24 seven. Well, for us it's a good experience, especially for me because when I go home and my kids say, how is the house, how is the house, how do they look? I say, well, we go this next week. So we bring them and they're so excited. They're running, this is my room, this is mine, this is mine. And everybody is waiting for the time that we be the house. You build these homes and you move into it, and you've already made about 50000 in equity. For people who can't really afford to make a down payment or big house payments, we would never be able to probably purchase a home without this program. It's something I can pass down to my kids if they want it. I keep going back and finding that this is a group that keeps their commitments. I didn't think it was going to happen. I really, about five years ago, gave up the thought of everything and we were ever, I was ever going to be part owner of a house. There was no way. I screwed up. No, you can redeem yourself. You can make it right and you can move forward.